Time now for final exam where the news experts compete to see who's been paying the closest attention to the news this week. Tonight, a special The Five edition of Final Exam. Jesse Waters and Greg Gutfeld, two names you may be familiar with, join us from the largest city in the United States tonight. The winner will face off next week. This is literally true with a 12-time Jeopardy! champion. In the meantime, we want to address directly the unsubstantiated allegation present on Mr. Gutfeld's T-shirt. <laughs> Our judges, and we're not going to weigh in one way or another on this, they are saying they are not going to deduct points preemptively <laughs> for the insult that you have thrown at Mr. Waters. So we're just going to leave it at that, if that's all right. Fake oh. news, Tucker. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Look, man, I'm not, you know, I don't get involved uh, in the hair question. Well, you I thought it was actually having a rematch with Dana. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> yeah. You know what? I stay out of hair questions. Yeah. Okay, you guys know the rules. So, but I'm going to repeat them for our viewers just tuning in now from the real Jeopardy. So, hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. The first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. You must wait until I finish asking before you answer. You can answer once I acknowledge by saying your name. Every correct answer is worth one point. Get it wrong, you lose a point. Best of five wins. That's what we call <laughs> journalism math. Simple. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get started. Question one. Which television billionaire who is named after a biblical figure just lost $50 million on a Weight Watchers investment after fewer people signed up for its diets? Oprah Winfrey. Jesse. Oh. Oprah Winfrey. You know that he hit before the question ended. Not I, you know, I can't. I'm not there. Our judges are going to have to assess. You guys are in the metropolis 20, uh, 200 miles. Away. Okay, the buzz counts. That's what they say. Oh. All, right. All right. Was it Oprah Winfrey? $50 million. That's how much Oprah is losing after Weight Watchers stock plunges. Oprah owns part of the company, which blames the stock drop on less people signing up for its program. I hope you didn't pay an analyst for that evaluation. Don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, by the way, can I ask you guys, did you know that Oprah was a biblical name? No idea. I did not know that. I didn't either, but I'm an Episcopalian, so I guess I would It's Harpo backwards. <laughs> it is. Well, I knew that. And the Marx Brothers, brothers famous studio. The Marx Brothers were in the Old Testament, Tucker. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yes. They, they may have written it. it was they not were long a very ago. brutal, brutal trio of brothers. Okay, hands on buzzers. Question two. This is multiple choice, so we'll wait till you get all the options. Okay. The president's working lunch with the dictator of North Korea in Vietnam featured a very interesting menu. The dessert consisted of a certain vegetable in a light sugary syrup. Was it A, green beans? B, wood ear mushrooms, or C, Chinese water chestnuts? The Greg second Gutfeld. one, the mushrooms. It was mush, wood ear, that sounds repulsive, but was it wood ear mushrooms? Listen to this for the finish, a traditional Vietnamese dessert of lotus seeds and oh. mushrooms oh, in a it. light sugary syrup. Oh, that's repulsive. How'd you know that? Um, I'm actually a chef. You oh. didn't know that, yeah. I cook, no, uh, I didn't know that. I, I cook thought... almost every night for uh, the children. You know, I, I thought... go down to the orphanage and I cook. <laughs> everything he's for saying is wrong. You do everything for the children. I'm, I'm not really surprised. I'm a, I'm a selfless human being. <laughs> <laughs> you and Richard Branson. Okay, question three. There's another multiple choice. 2020 candidate Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota is in the news for her strange behavior while dealing with her staff. One former aide recalls a time when he witnessed the senator eating her salad with which unusual item? Was it A, a pair of scissors? Was it B, a comb? Or was it C, her bare hands? Greg. Comb. Comb, not her bare hands. Oh. Was it a comb? Mm -hmm. The New York Times supporting Andy Klobuchar berated a staff member at an airport back in 2008 for failing to bring her a fork with her salad. So Senator Klobuchar ate the salad using a comb from her bag, then handed the comb to her aide and told him to clean it. Hey, Tucker. Yeah, I knew that. Tucker. That's, yeah. Do you know what the uh, collusion story and Amy Klobuchar have in common? What? A dirty comey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Scott I shouldn't Adams. be surprised. Oh, Question God. four. Which loud member of Congress, who used to be a bartender, is now featured as a sword-wielding superhero in a cringe-inducing comic book? AOC. Greg Gutfeld, AOC. Can you be more specific? Alexandria <laughs> Octavia Cortez. Was it AOC? It's a bird. It's a plane. Ooh. It's 
AOC. The New York Congresswoman is now the star of a comic lose? book yes. satire. Yes. It's yes. called yes. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the Freshman Force. One cover shows the Democratic Socialist with a sword and superwoman-style outfit with the caption, New ah. Party, Who Dis? So we have two notes. It's three to one. We have two notes from our judges. One, keep hands on buzzers. Okay. And second, this final question is worth two points. You could conceivably yes. tie. We're grading on a curve. No, no, look, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't make, yes. look, I don't make the decisions here. I'm a marionette controlled Wait, by the you control guys room just in New York. Change the rules. I'm just telling you, I do what I'm told. This is exactly. You know what we do, this we is? do it often, by the way. No, no I'm you not going to do this. No. Never apologize. Never explain. Therefore, I won't. Final you question. It's because they if don't you, like you, Greg. If you wish your beer tasted more like marshmallows, you're in luck tonight. A Virginia brewery is now selling a beer that tastes like which sugary breakfast cereal? Lucky Charms. Greg oh, Duckfell. God, I knew that. I is that crushed you like a bug. <laughs> but is that true? Let's check the tape. Crushed him like a bug. Lucky Charms oh. flavored beer. <laughs> Saturday morning IPA wow. is made of toasted marshmallows and fruity calypso hops. Oh, if you so drink impressive. Them, you'll even see a leprechaun, too. Yeah. Greg Gutfeld, you are impressive. I will give you my Eric Wempel mug next time I see you. You're going to face off against a 12 time Jeopardy champion. Good luck. You Jesse keep Waters, promising me man. the mug. I knew all the answers. He's closer I, I to the buzzer. Look, this is he is closer to the buzzer. Our producer Justin's bringing you a mug right to your office right now. Thank you, gentlemen. That's it for this week's final exam. <laughs> Tune in next week and see if you can beat the experts. Gutfeld versus the Jeopardy champion. Whoa.